hey guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl t and in today's video we're going to be learning how to cut and sew this beautiful on the bus corset dress if that's something you're interested in watching do make sure to keep watching do not forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications and without further ado guys let's get into the video so i'm going to start by rolling half inches below my the top of my pattern paper and rolling a straight line there I'm going to start as my shoulder line and then i'll go ahead to mark out my bust point being 10 inches my under bust 13 and my waistline 18 inches i'm also going to go ahead now to rule a straight line at each of those points and then i'll be marking two inches above my bust point to give me my chest line there and here for my hip line i'll be marking nine inches below my waistline to give me my hip line there i'll be rolling a straight line also and also for the bust effect below the gown so you can decide for mine i'll make use of five inches so yours can be um more or less so it depends on how um, v wants it to be i hope you understand what i mean i also bring a straight line there so the next thing i'm going to be doing now will be to go ahead now to label my chest line bust point on the bust waistline hip line also the full length of the gown i'm marking out my shoulder line now 14 divided by 2 gives me 7 and i'm bringing a straight line there also so i'm also going to go ahead now to mark out the wideness of the neck so i'm making use of 3.5 by 4 and the depth will be 4 inches i'm going to go ahead now to connect it with the use of my cuff to give me my front neckline and also i'll be coming one inches below my shoulder line to, serve as, to give me that shoulder slant there and i'll be connecting it like so so i'm also going to go ahead now to create uh, my front armhole by measuring the middle 3.5 coming out by half inch there and i'm also going to go ahead now to insert my bust measurement 34 divided by 4 gives me eight and a half so i'm just going to go ahead now to connect it like so and create my front arm hole so the next thing i'm going to be doing now will be to mark out my nipple nipple measurement it's seven divided by two gives me 3.5 at the bust point and also at the under bust and i'll be really a straight line there so I'm just going to go ahead now to draw a cycle that is measuring 3 inches because that's the measurement from my bust point to my under bust. Draw a cycle measuring 3 inches in radius. And now that I'm done, at that bust point line there, I'm going to come in up by 1 inch by that side. And rolling a straight line there, also kind of a new chest line. And also at the center front, I'm going to be going up by half of an inch. And I'll be rolling a straight line there also. So now I'm just going to go ahead and make use of my curve to connect it like so. Basically, what you see me do in the video. And connect the other side also. And now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to go ahead now to insert my body's measurement. My bust measurement 34 divided by 4 gives me 8.5 plus 2.5 inches of allowance. Same for my waistline. 6.5 plus 2.5 gives me 8.5. My hip line being 36 divided by 4, 9 plus 2 of allowance giving me 11. I'm just going to go ahead now to connect it like so. Yeah. And now that I'm done with that, that's basically it for the front part. I'm just going to go ahead now to cut it out. And here is what it's looking like. I'm going to go ahead now to cut out that um, cup part. And yeah, this is for our front pattern. So let's go ahead and cut out the back pattern. So for the back pattern, I went ahead and I inserted the same measurement with the front. And I added 2 inches of zipper allowance. So I'm going to go ahead now to mark out the depth of the neck and also the wideness of the neck. 3.5 for the depth for this back. I'm making use of 5 inches. And I'm going to go ahead and mark out 1 inches down to put my shoulder slant. And I'll be connecting all points like so. And also the shoulder slant. So now I'm going to go ahead now to also create the armhole, marking the midpoint there, and just basically inserting all my measurements, like I did for the front pattern, also my waistline, also the hip line. Yeah, and I'm just going to go ahead and connect it, like I did for the front, and this is it. I'm going to go ahead now to create the to mark one inch above the bust point so it matches up with the front pattern 
and that part is going to be perfectly straight and now I'm going to go ahead and to create the armhole cuff like so and then I'm going to go ahead now to cut these out and now that I'm not cutting it out I'm going to go ahead now to separate the upper part from the lower part also just cut that out also and that is our back pattern yeah so yeah and these are all the patterns we cut out looking so beautiful so that part up we're going to be plain and the down going to be an ankara fabric so these are the materials we're using like you've seen from the final outcome just going to go ahead now to place the patterns onto the fabric and cut them out so yeah i went ahead and placed the fabric and added a half inch of allowance all through aside from the main allowance i also went ahead to cut out the learning piece and it is for the top that's the plain part i also went ahead to add half inch of allowance all through the pattern so yeah i went ahead and i cut out two pieces for the plain in front because we're going to be using it as the lending and also as the main fabric itself i'm going to go ahead and stitch along the neckline and also do the same thing for the back i also went ahead to cut two pieces of each stitch along the neckline and this i was looking after i was done i also went ahead to give it a top stitch towards the learning part so you just choose any side you want to be the learning and choose this side you want to serve as the main fabric i'm just going to go ahead now to close up all those edges around and this i was looking after i was done i also went ahead to mark out the midpoint of the cup area there i also did the same thing for the back pattern also and here is what it's looking like next now we'll be to work on the ankara part so yeah, for the Ankara, I went ahead and I ironed interfacing onto just to make the fabric a little more stable. And I also marked the midpoint also. So I'm just going to go ahead now to attach the plain part to the Ankara fabric like so. I'm going to go ahead now and ensure that the midpoint of the plain part and the midpoint of the Ankara fabric aligns like so. And once I'm sure that I've aligned, I'm going to flip it over like so, right sides facing each other, and then go ahead now to um, make use of a safety pin to pin them together like so. I'll start by pinning the midpoints like, like so because you saw that I kind of notched the Ankara part. So I'll pin it down like so, and I also go ahead and pin those um, notched area of the cup together. And I'll be doing this for both cups. I'm also going to be repeating the same thing on the other cup also. So yeah, you might have seen that I didn't um, join the learning piece of the Ankara parts. That's because we're going to be attaching this first before we then go ahead to attach the Ankara part. So now I'm just going to head over to my sewing machine now and stitch along all these areas like so. So this is kind of a bit tricky, so you have to be very careful when doing this. So yeah, there are some areas that you might need to stretch the plain fabric so that it kind of just sits well on the Ankara. So yeah, you have to just be very careful. I'm going to go ahead now to sew from one end through both curves and sew to the other end. And this I was looking after I was done. Looking so beautiful and neat. The next now will be to go ahead now and attach the linen piece. So yeah, to attach the linen piece, we are going to be doing it in the same way we attach the plain parts to the Ankara fabric. So to make this easy, just start from one end like so, then you sew along, then you sew through the cup area to the underboss corset area, and just kind of like continue sewing until you get to the end. So like I said, this is not really easy, it's kind of tricky, it's not hard, but then it's kind of tricky, so you have to be also tricky to get this, yeah. And this I was looking after I was done, like looking so beautiful and neat, outside being neat and the inside neat also. So the next thing I'm going to do now will be to also go ahead and work on the back part also. So for the back part, in the same way we did for the front part, but then the back part is a bit easier. So we can work on the learning piece and the anchor fabric at the same time. So now I'm just going to go ahead now to place the plain fabric in between the anchor fabric and the learning like so. So just place the main fabric and then you place the parts of the plane that aligns like so and then i'm going to go ahead and to give it a top stitch like so and also kind of give it a neat finishing on that zipper area and also the allowance area like i did for the front pattern and that will be also i'll be doing this for both pieces and this is what it was looking like after i was done looking so cute 
I also went ahead to attach the zipper with the zipper allowance that I left where I was cutting it out. And yeah, that's basically it for the back part. And the next thing I'm going to go ahead now to do now will be to go ahead now and join the front and the back together. By stitching along that shoulder area, I'm also going to go ahead now to measure the bottom of the dress. So it was measuring 24. And here yeah, I'm measuring this to know the amount of fabric that I'll be making use of. So 24 being for each part of the dress, for the front separately and for the back separately. I'm also going to go ahead now to measure the length of the dress. So yeah, the normal length of my dress is measuring 42. So now I'm going to go ahead now to place it at that end part of the dress because that part is shorter, that's the shorter part of the dress. I'm going to be placing it there and then measuring the number uh, amount of that length of fabric that I'll be needing. So after placing it there, so it was measuring kind of 28 and a half. So I'm measuring it half inches, of course, I want my actual measurement. Yeah, so it's measuring 28 and a half. So 42 minus 28 and a half minus 28 and a half now gives me 13.5. So yeah, but I'm adding one inch allowance for folding and half inch allowance for joining. So altogether gives me 15. So the length of the fabric that I'm going to be making use of to create that gathered ruffle at the end of the dress should be measuring 15 in height while the length is going to be 24 multiplied by 3 and that's for each part of the dress front separately and the back separately also so yours can be more than that depending on how um gathered you want the ends of the gown to be so i'm just going to go ahead now to fold that to hem it like so by folding it twice and then giving it a stitch and i'll be doing this for both pieces that's for the front piece and also for that that i'll be making use of at the back also and this i was looking after i was done hemming so i'm just going to go ahead now head over to my sewing machine now and run gathered stitches all through the fabric from the beginning all through to the end you can also do this with your needle and thread this i was looking after i was done running gathered stitches so i'm going to go ahead now and just like gather it more and now i'm going to go ahead now to attach it to the um, dress itself so I'm just going to kind of adjust the gather so that it fits to the width of the dress. So now it's kind of smaller. I'm just going to kind of expand the fabric along the thread that we just used to gather it to kind of fit the width of the dress. And now that they have aligned, I'm just going to go ahead and flip the fabric over like so, right sides facing each other. And I'm just going to go ahead now to sew this plain fabric along that V-shaped end. That's the back end of the gown itself i'm just going to sew it from one end all through to the other end of the dress and i'll be doing this for both the front and the back separately and this i was looking after i was done looking so beautiful so i just attached for the front and the back also so the next now will be to go ahead now and attach the sleeve of the dress so here yeah, for the sleeve i already have a video on my channel that i posted kind of let's say two weeks ago on the making of a gidget sleeve so yeah the only difference is that this does not have a band but yeah, you can do it to go check out the video. So I just went ahead and I folded it in and just attached elastic around the ends of the sleeve. So I'm just going to go ahead now to attach um the sleeve to both sides, attaching it like so. So I marked the midpoint of the sleeve. So I'm just attaching it to the shoulder line like so. So I'm just going to go ahead now and sew each sleeve to both sides. So after I was done attaching the sleeve, this is what we had. So now I just turned it to the inner part of the dress. I'm going to go ahead now to stitch along from the sleeve to the bodice of the dress and down to the gathered area of the dress. And I'm going to do this for the other side also. And this I was looking after I was done. It is so beautiful. And that's basically how you make this beautiful underboss corset dress. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you learned. So you can do well to try it out and send me pictures to my Instagram. Do not forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on our next video. Thank you guys once again for watching. Bye bye and see you in my next video. Say what you wanna say.